I'm a telecommunicator at the Ramsey County Emergency Communication Center. Um, I definitely enjoy my job here. It can be very exciting at times, um, and we also get to make a difference. Um, one call I really felt I made a difference on is there was a hostage situation in Roseville. A gentleman approached a female working um, in an insurance agency with a weapon, and I got the first 911 call, which was um, called in by a fem another female in the building who was in the back. She didn't see anything, had no information. She could just hear this gentleman talking to her and saying, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. So, of course, she's freaked out. I'm freaked out because really we had no idea what was going on in, at the time, but we just got ahead to get police there and eventually um, the male did exit the building. I, I spoke to the woman who was with the suspect and she could give me all kinds of information and it's really a situation where you're definitely under fire. You know, you know what information the officers that are already there need to get this guy. And it's, it's, it's keeping it together and getting the most important information first. And really the call ended up being 40 minutes long before the police were able to get in the building and the SWAT team could sweep everything and check everything out. And really it was just complete focus. You know, I had supervisors with me kind of kind of calming me through it and, and I don't remember anyone around me. You're right there, you're in the moment because you know that you are the link between the person that needs help and the police that can help them. A lot of my friends think it's very interesting what I do being a telecommunicator for 911, and a lot of times they'll ask, you know, what should I know about calling 911? And I think it's really important to stress to people is you need to know where you are. When it come, when we're being trained every day in our jobs, the number one piece of information we need to get is where are you? Because then no matter what happens, we know where to send help. So whether you're just walking, you know, taking a walk, um, going to parks, at friend's house, you should always make sure you know what address, what address you're at, what street you're on. Just be aware of your location because we dispatch for so many, uh, such a large area that, oh, I'm at the park, or, you know, sometimes landmarks don't help us. So being aware of what streets you're on or addresses is always very important because then at any time, you know, at least we know where to send help. A lot of calls that we get in the center is a lot of people call 911 by accident, whether it's trying to dial out in an office building and you have to dial 911 or something like that to get out, or you know, cell phone in your pocket, it does happen all the time. And unfortunately, a lot of people think that just hanging up right away is the answer to that problem. No. Um, it's okay, it happens all the time. Accidents happen. Some phones even have buttons that directly dial to us, and of course, at certain occasions, it's gonna get pushed by accident. Please stay on the phone. We're gonna ask you a couple quick, simple questions and make sure you're okay. And it's, it's not a big deal, it happens. So um, don't hang up. Um, people call 911 for all sorts of things, whether it's to see if a friend or family member is in the jail, people call for cabs, people call to see if they have a warrant for their own arrest, people will call 911 because um, their keys are locked in their car, or because they think they might have hit a car in the parking lot that they left yesterday. Um, call 911 for all sorts of things that we are 911 calls. Um, people call 911 to ask us the time, for the weather, and even people who unfortunately have cell phones that will just call 911 will call us to order them food, like we're a delivery service. My name is Emily and I'm a telecommunicator with Ramsey County 911.